Hey, what's going on guys? Rob Rini here, and today I'm going to be doing a steering wheel replacement for a 2013 Ford Escapes. On the left, you see my standard molded steering wheel on my 13 SE. It has a lot of wear and tear on it. You can see a lot of worn away grooves, and the surface finish is peeled off. It's getting kind of gnarly um, just from everyday use. I'm going to be replacing it from a leather wrap steering wheel from a salvage 2013 SEL Ford Escape. So the steps in this video are going to be to safely disengage the airbag and remove that, as well as remove the old steering wheel, put the new one in, put the airbag back on, and so forth. So I'm going to show you the tools needed to do this, as well as the steps. Let's get started. For this procedure, you're going to need a 13mm deep socket, a medium and small flathead screwdriver, a T25 Torx driver, a 7mm deep socket, and a 24mm socket. A drill and extensions are helpful, but optional. For starters, I have the Escape on level ground in park with the e-brake on. Next, pop your hood and look in the back right corner. Use your 13mm deep socket to disconnect the negative battery line. We're going to take our T25 Torx bit and remove this screw here. All right. So that is the small T25 Torx screw. Then we're gonna swap out the T25 Torx bit for a seven millimeter deep socket. And here is our small seven millimeter screw. We should now be able to remove this bottom cover once we pop off two snaps right behind your steering wheel. Now with our two screws out, we want to pull the bottom cover off. What we need to do first though is turn our wheel 90 degrees to the right and we're going to release this snap right here and do the same on the other side. Alright, we're going to go this way. Alright, now this cover should just come off. And now the top should lift off here as well. So now that we have the bottom panel off, we can lift up the top. But to get everything off, we can just take this panel here and slide it out. That comes out pretty easily. You can lift all this away. So now comes the tricky part of removing the airbag mechanically from the steering wheel assembly. So with all of your shrouding off and the steering wheel column down and out as far as possible, um, I'm going to look in the back of the steering wheel itself. And here you will see, there's this on each side, but you're going to see a rectangular hole and then a smaller kind of circle hole right there. And in there with the light you can see a metal wire or it looks like a pin. To compare what we're looking at here, looking at the leather steering wheel, um, this is that same hole that we're talking about, and then you have these um, you have these hooks that the wire goes behind. So what we're doing is coming from the other side, but we want to pry the wire away from behind this hook to dis disengage that side of the airbag. We're going to be doing it on this side and this side. So, so very quickly, I want to show you what you're working with when you're looking in the back of that wheel. This is the back of the airbag, and here is where the hook comes around, and this is the one of the two pins. You have one here, and you have one here, and each of these holes right there and right here are where you put the screwdriver in through the back of the steering wheel column. Now when you push your screwdriver in and you move that down, you move your pin away from the hook. That's the motion that you're going for when you are reaching in the back of that steering column. It's kind of blind when you're doing it and you don't know really what you're trying to do, but you're trying to get a screwdriver in and pry it down so it comes away and around from the hook to release your airbag. So now that we have our airbag dangling, 
Um, again, battery off, so nothing's going to deploy on you. You should absolutely have your battery disconnected. We're going to disconnect <coughs> the screen connector here. Now that our green fitting is disconnected, we're going to disconnect the yellow fittings. Again, using a flathead screwdriver, you can pop up the orange retainers and those unplug. And just so you know, you have a blue one and a yellow one, which go into the blue and yellow terminals on the airbag itself. So there is your disconnected airbag. All right, so now to remove this center bolt right here, you need a 24 millimeter socket, which is quite large, or a 15 16 is close enough. Um, you really should get the 24 though. Let's get that guy off. And before we lift this steering wheel away, I'm going to remove this wire harness right here so that these guys stay in place. Be careful of these yellow plugs. So that is it. Reinstall everything in reverse order with the new steering wheel. All right, so I'm going to reassemble with my leather steering wheel in the reverse order now. Um, my steering wheel is upside down before. With the six faces of the hex right here, as well as the six faces on this recess, um, I'm going to reinstall. Plug that guy in. Reinstall my 24 millimeter. Okay. Reconnect these guys. Once they're in place, push down on the orange. And they're retained. And we're going to plug in our green connector. You want to make sure that this green wire harness has its home right in here before you insert everything. And that will then make room for your airbag to install nicely again. So now before we button everything back up in terms of the shrouds, I'm going to check all the functions. Um, horn, that's good. Um, cruise control buttons. The cruise control prompts go there. Great. Uh, the infotainment system. Information for my Ford Touch. Go to home. And prompts. Okay, that works. Um, my media. Volume. All right, so it seems everything is fine in terms of functions. I'm going to now put the upper and lower shrouds back on the steering wheel and we'll be all done. This part just sit. And we're going to take this piece here and again, just push it back into the dash, right underneath the cluster there. That's all that is. Let that sit on top. Now we got our lower shroud. We want to tuck it back in there. You get that nice seam there. Again, hook in, come up, snap to get that seam. So now we're going to reinstall our 7 millimeter screw on the bottom here. and then use our T25 Torx driver to reinstall this guy. All right, everyone, well, that about wraps up this procedure for swapping out the old chewed up 
standard molded steering wheel and my SE for this new upgrade of the leather wrap steering wheel from the salvaged SEL. Everything has been tested to work. Everything's tightened down. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like it. Please share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let us know if you have any questions and let us know if there are any videos that we don't have up that you would like to see done. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching How to Escape.